Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Working Man's Wet Shave. I'm Josh, and today I had my ass totally bailed out. You guys know Sonia. Well, I was going through my soaps trying to figure out what I was going to use today, and I realized that I had used up all the cheap soaps that I had bought from MaggardRazors.com for Working Man's Wet Shave, and I had nothing to go on. Boom, Sonia to the rescue. She went to Target, got me Vanderhagen Shave Butter. Is butter a carb? Yes. This stuff costs $5.09. I hear good things. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. It definitely qualifies, though, for working man's wet shave under $10. Can't beat the price. Okay, guys, it's got a little thing on here I gotta peel off. Maybe. Okay, interesting scent so far. It's got a thick white consistency. Almost feels like suntan lotion. That's what it looks like. Oh, this smells wonderful. This has a really buttery scent. Dad! It happened again. More of my creamy goo came out. I'm gonna shave my head. Let's not waste any time. Let's do it. There's some butter in the kitchen. So you're here. Go get the butter. I have to hurry. I have a cap downstairs waiting. Go get the butter. Oh, this stuff smells fantastic. I am shocked at how good this smells. For $5.09? Good lord. Let's hope it works as good as it smells. Okay guys, as with all these other shave butters, I used a uh, Jack Black Beard Lube. I once used a Dr. Carver Shave Butter from uh, Dollar Shave Club. That's really all you have to do. There's no lathering involved. You just smear them on. It's kind of like the old-fashioned kind of shave cream in a can. It's pre-made for you. You don't have to do anything. So yeah, if you're in a hurry, this probably wouldn't be a bad option. As for my blade today, I have a Concord blade. These are from Turkey, and like everything else on Working Man's Wet Shave, they're really, really cheap. I believe on tryablade.com, each one is 40 cents per blade, so pretty good price. Let's shave. Have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? It's so freaking good. Have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? If you haven't, then I think you should. Arco stick, watch out. We might have a new contender for the best working man wet shave soap. This stuff's fantastic. So far I have no complaints with this blade. Let's keep going. Okay guys, after the first pass, I am extremely pleased with Vanderhagen Shave Butter. This stuff is great, as I said, smells great, feels great. As for the blade itself, the you know Concord blade from Turkey, not too crazy about it. I was getting quite a bit of tug on it, um, nicked myself fairly good, I think right about here, but um, you know, sometimes you're going to cut yourself, so maybe the blade's not totally at fault. Probably isn't something I'd order twice though. Let's do a second pass now, across the grain. Here we go. Ah, fresh creamery butter. Is there anything more comforting? Okay guys, despite a pretty lackluster performance by that Concord blade, I still got a really, really great shave. And yeah, can't recommend Vanderhagen Shave Butter more. It's not necessarily a traditional wet shave. You're not gonna use your brush. You're not gonna put anything in your shaving bowl. But hey, you know, not every day has to be exactly the same. Sometimes you guys are gonna be in a hurry. You're gonna want something you just put on your beard or your head really quick. This stuff definitely fits the bill. And on top of that, it smells great. So I wanna thank the most beautiful woman in all of wet shaving, Sonia. You came through, saved my ass, I really appreciate it. Okay guys, the best part about this shave butter is you can use it for aftershave. It says right on the back. Don't waste it, don't wipe it off your head. Just rub it in. 
And you know, like I said, it smells so good that I'm not gonna complain. And it feels so good that I'm not gonna complain. So yeah, done. Have you ever put butter on a pop tart? It's so freaking good. Have you ever put butter on a pop tart? If you haven't, then I think you should. I was sitting in the kitchen one day and I was itching to fill up my belly with the piping hot jelly of the best damn treat in the world. He's talking Pop-Tarts. And I saw a stick of butter and it almost made me shudder and scream like a baby girl. I don't want a giant penis or a rocket trip to Venus. I don't want to win the lottery. I just want to squat and gobble till I'm dizzy and I wobble in a butterfruit and Joe Todd dream. So I put butter on a Pop-Tart. It was so friggin' good. Have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? If you haven't, then I think you should. Everybody, come along with us. Have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? It's so friggin' good. Yeah. Have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? If you haven't, then I think you should. Pop-Tart! With butter?